Hi everyone, it's me David, and I just got a new shipment of oils in, so I wanted to make a batch of soap. But before we get started making that soap, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you can increase the shelf life of your oil. Because you don't want to be using rancid oils in your soap. It'll produce a rancid bar of soap, it won't lather well, it won't smell good. So you always want to use fresh oil for your soap. One of the easiest things you can do to keep the shelf life of your oil long is actually just keep it in the refrigerator. Now keep it in a cool location. Another thing you can do is just you can buy an industrial preservative. This is BHT right here. They actually use this in, in food to keep the oils from going rancid. Um, you can just put it in your oil and it'll keep the shelf life long. Another thing you can do is um, BHT is actually in the same family as vitamin E. So what you can do is you can just use vitamin E in your oil. And uh, another trick is to use rosemary oil. Um, it is a preservative and it'll keep your oil fresh as well. Uh, the one thing about rosemary oil is you want to just use a little bit of it because it's very, very strong and it'll change the smell of your soap when you're making it. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go through our checklist. Uh, we've got our safety equipment. That's the first thing you need, obviously. You need some jars for the lye and then the oil. Um, you need your lye, you need your oils, um, you need a thermometer so that you can measure the temperature of the oils and the lye before you mix them together. And you need a paper and pen so that you can write down all the different measurements that you've got. So let's go ahead and get started. The first oil we're going to be using is palm oil. And we've got 14.1 ounces of palm oil. The next oil is coconut oil. And we've got 14.1 ounces of that as well. The next oil is canola oil and we've got 13.6 ounces of canola oil. The next oil we're gonna use is olive oil. And we've got 10.1 ounces of olive oil. Our next oil is castor oil for some good bubbles. We've got 4.5 ounces of castor oil. And finally, the last oil they're gonna be using is almond oil and we've got 3.2 ounces of the almond oil. Okay, now that we have all of our oils put together, what we want to do is go to metaphysicalfarms.com, use their free lye calculator to figure out how much water and how much lye we're going to use. Okay, I went to Metaphysical Farms and used their free lye calculator, and I figured out that we needed between 17 and 22 ounces of a liquid, and then 8.8 .8 ounces of lye. So what I've done beforehand is I've actually um, created 17.8 ounces of a green tea, sage, and lavender liquid that we'll be using as our liquid. Um, so all we need to do now is measure out our 8.8 .8 ounces of lye. Now that we have our safety equipment on, we can measure out the light. Okay, now we've got 8.8 .8 ounces of lye and we'll just need to mix it in with our liquid. Okay, now that we've got our lye mixed in with our liquid, um, we need to let it cool down. Uh, you might even be able to see there's some water vapor coming up off the, the jar here. Uh, so it's actually very, very hot right now. So what we can do in the meantime is actually heat up our oils so that it's about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we want them to be about the same temperature when we mix them together. Okay, so our oil now is at 110 degrees and our lye is at 118 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and mix them together. So we're almost to trace now, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the coloring, fragrance, and the super fat. So we've reached trace, and all we need to do is pour this into our mold now. Okay, so our soap is in the mold now, and all we have to do is just wait uh, two or three days. As you can see, it's already started to solidify, so all we have to do is just put this away and cover it maybe with a towel so that it retains its heat, and then come back. 
Okay, it's been two days now, and all we have to do is take the soap out of the mold and cut it up into bars. Now that the bars of soap are cut, all you have to do is just wait uh, three to six weeks to let them dry. A little trick, um, if you want to make the soap as a gift or something like that and you want to make it shine, you can actually um, stick them under a little bit of water for a second and then let them dry for the three or six weeks.